We grow up around stories that tell us why we shouldn't be in these waters. Stories of snakes and healers and white waters. All these stories end in people that don't come back. And of course, in addition to the narratives around black people and water. Going through a hard time in 2016, I find myself in Bali, longing for this ocean, these seas. I remember my first time seeing beneath the surface of these waters. From thinking I was drowning to calm and a moment that changed my life forever. All this life that existed so peacefully. Everything looked all kinds of different and it was okay. Even I, in this human form, just belonged. No explanations necessary. The years that followed was a journey of exploring these seas and my South Africa has never failed to show up and show off. From pristine coral to lionfish so beautifully patterned, you'd never imagine it to be poisonous too. <laughs> Honeycomb moray eels, my favorite. Also, everything in the ocean is my favorite. And last, turtles. A common sight of me in the morning famished. At the end of it all is church. It remains an honor to witness the ocean early morning and late afternoon, so sacred. And then golden kelp forests that scream of magic, a new pursuit of adventure. This adventure would take me to eight degree dives in just a costume, a world unknown. Two things have become most important in this travel, creating and documenting of my journey how important representation is in the world of expanding dreams. And secondly, how stories bring people closer to nature. Our seas need protection, not only for the animals that live within her, but for us too as humanity. And it all starts with conscious living. And so in all the adventures to come, is the forever hope to tell stories that encourage us to expand ourselves and lean into the discomfort and fears. And two, what does it mean to preserve this pristine world for the generations to come? I close with the sardine run another phenomenon of South Africa, a great underwater migration where we as humans can be in the waters while whole predators hunt. This includes sharks and dolphins and seagulls and whales. It's a sight like no other. In addition, of course, to the humpback migration. On this spectacular occasion, we got to witness a bride's whale, eat up an entire bait ball. A world unimagined. I have no words for the magic that the ocean has brought into my life. The many joys that are beyond comprehension. The things that happen when we lean into the unknown. Ha! Tales of a Zulu girl exploring also known as the Black Mermaid.